What's up, y'all? Everybody hear me out there? Can anybody hear me out there? I was trying to do the uh, countdown thing on this, but I guess I'm still messing around with learning at StreamYard. At least it doesn't say at the bottom, uh, Bites Edge uh, first live stream down there. So that's good, right? What's up, my journey, Poop? How's everybody doing? Kaleidoscope. Hope everybody's having a good week. Um, got a few knives out here. Hopefully y'all can, uh, if I can get the camera to focus. Hold on. Get this thing to focus here. There we go. Maybe I should just keep my hand on the table. Um, hope everybody had a good week and uh, everybody's having a good weekend. What's up there, Jimmy Crow? How's it going, man? Book Doozle, my journey. Who else we got up in here? I'm going off of the StreamYard chat, so that kind of puts me behind a little bit because it's kind of choppy. Um, last week I had my phone and I was going off the chat in my phone. But uh, when I was going off the chat on my phone, the internet was a little more glitchy, I think. So I'm kind of using the the hotspot that I've got on my phone for the laptop. And the hotspot on the phone works great if it's like not up against the wall. So anyway, long story short, it's hard for me to see the chat um, super quick right now, I guess. Be the best way to put it. But let's see. Actually, I try to go into YouTube on my phone and see what it does. Let's see. Had to end the music. I put a little music background in there. For, who would have known that, right? People want to copyright good music. Let's see, non copyright music. Trying something new here. Gaming music that's not copyrighted. see if this works out all right so i'm gonna go on there which means i'm free to use my other phone for my youth now i can go into my live here probably like two people left in here now oh it's gonna pick up the audio yeah, it's picking up the audio from here. So let's see if I can change this around real quick. Not copyrighted. Gaming music. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to have to go off of the StreamYard chat, I guess. So hopefully it's not too far behind. Had to figure out a way to move around cell phones and uh, all that stuff, I guess, during the week. It's kind of hard if you're not live to kind of see how your um, how your live stream is going to go. Um, one benefit to using the one camera system is I could uh, it was a lot easier to stream because it doesn't take up as much bandwidth, I don't think. So uh, whenever I'm doing just the desktop view, I can look at my hand, uh, my uh, live chat on my phone, you know. So might need to look into like a Wi-Fi extender, really probably need, you know, a faster computer and also you know, a 
a Wi-Fi extender if I'm going to stream from the garage. But there's like a laundry list of all kinds of other stuff that, you know, we need for the house before that. So, What's up, Justin, Ohio? LCV? Like everybody's rolling in here. Beef Baron. $8 on the table. <laughs> live scope and eyes yeah stream yard usually has a 15 to 20 second delay yeah that's why i don't like streaming with stream yard but like i said i gotta you know it's about the only way i can stream unless i move my phone over here which i'm gonna try that real quick i'm gonna move my primary phone over here and i'll take a look at my live on my phone and see so all right this is live now so this actually the way i got it set up right now works pretty good i just can't uh i can't move anything around <laughs> all right looking at the chat let's see just in ohio kaleidoscope and nice joe casper what's up man uh, addicted to blades too how's it going buddy uh let's see who else is in here lcv blades edge what's up buddy uh beat baron Mr. Eddie, of course, the infamous Mr. Eddie. I got a package. I got to run to the post office as soon as I get done with the live stream and uh, and get that out there real quick for for Mr. Eddie. Uh, or else he'll probably come hunt me down because he's uh, he sent me some pretty good knives. So I definitely want to get those back to him. And I got a couple of new ones this week. Uh, I got a couple of them on the table, actually, that uh, Mr. Eddie traded me for for so uh got this utx 70 this is like the the bounty hunter uh, i'm gonna still do a review and everything on it i just did an unboxing video where i took all this stuff out of the box that uh mr eddie sent he was uh gracious enough to put a really good label on that box and really appreciate that mr eddie <laughs> time to poop but uh, this thing's really neat. Um, it's a little bitty one. I don't know if, if anyone's aware. Uh, with, yeah, I'm sure most of y'all probably aware, but with Microtech, the uh, UTX-80, I think, means that it's, or UTX-70 is 70% 70 size of the uh, Ultratech. And I think the UTX-85 means it's like uh, pretty much the same knife, but it's 85% the size of the Ultratech. But this is the uh, uh, the 70. So it's, it's a little bitty guy, you know. I mean, all in my hand, it's, it's about that big, you know. Pretty neat little knife. Also, I was able to pick up. That's the Ultra Tech that I've had. Uh, Mr. Eddie traded a couple of his knives to me. And this is one of them, too, is the uh, Direct Delta. Really happy to add that one to the collection. I just hold it up, so it's kind of got some much grease on there. Strasate likes to say. And this is another one that Mr. Eddie was gracious enough to trade out with me. And uh, this, this is the Heretic Decor X. I really like this one. I like the action on it. And um, Peony's uh, son, I think his name is actually Tony Jr., <laughs> but uh, he started Heretic Knives, so another USA-made knife, same family, uh, different company. So this one's, uh, that one's pretty powerful with the action on it. It's right up there with the Direct Delta, I would say. Catch up with the chat here. What's up, MPG? How you doing, Meredith? Meredith actually got another one, another knife on the table. Seems like I got all bar. Let me graciously borrow this super tactical little ninja here. Um, this thing is just, it, it's probably one of the most tactical things that's ever existed. I worry about my fingers getting chopped off every time I use it. It could probably chop through a car door uh really great knife but in all seriousness this thing 
it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a little trainer from Squid Industries. If I can get it close to the camera. All aluminum has kind of the same texture and um, on the blade, if you could call it a blade, I guess. The happy face stick is a nail file. But, uh, you know, the, the edges, of course, since it's a trainer or dull, right? They're squared off, rounded off. Even the little pointy ends above the happy face, his little hair, his little hair on his head here, that's all pretty dull, you know. Um, pretty impossible to hurt yourself with this. So um, I am absolutely terrible at using ballast songs. I don't know any tricks. I tried to play around with it a little bit, thought about maybe doing some tricks on the live or something that I learned. And I, the only thing that I really learned was that I can't really learn ballast song tricks. But it is a really cool knife. And uh, a lot of respect to uh, the people who use ballast songs and are really good at using them because I am not one of those people. But this thing's really neat. It's really smooth, too. That was surprising. So. Thanks to Meredith. Y'all go check her channel out. It's uh, MPG EDC. I've got it linked in the unboxing here, but um, just go to Google or not Google. You can go to YouTube and type in. Um, let me make sure I'm getting it right. That's it right there, actually. I want to check her out. She's in the chat right now laughing at me. And also, before I forget, Mr. Eddie. Check him out on Instagram, Mr. Eddie underscore 411. Got a lot of cool stuff on there. Got a really, really nice knife collection. I think he actually got a, uh, get this thing to refocus. Come on. Come on. I think my camera went out last night. I don't know what the deal is with it. Come on. There you go. Man, this webcam is horrible at focusing. But, um, yeah, uh, Mr. Eddie's got a really cool knife collection. He actually just got a uh, T6000 in, I believe. He was showing me some pictures of it. Catch up with the chat here. Can you spine white test that harpoon folder on the table? That knife looks good, but I've seen some problems with that lock. The harpoon folder? Which one are you talking about, uh, loser? The ramlock stitch? Yeah, if you want me to. Let's see. I spine white tested this thing before. Um, Pretty solid, I would say. Pretty solid lot so far. No issues. I haven't had any issues with the stitch anyway. To me, it's been uh, probably one. One of my favorite knives. Really, really. It's definitely super. Says my husband plays with the real ones. Shout out to him. Much for the real ones and still. What's up, Joseph Bess? How's it going, buddy? Uh, Rody, Tyler Williams, it's Crazy Roach. Like a lot more people came in while I was yakking. Lenny Bianchi, what's up, man? How's it going? Knife wife in here? You got the knife wife with you? Uh, my journey, EDC, Mr. Eddie, of course. T Fetch, what the demon knight is my favorite. Man, I am way behind on the chat, just like normal. I don't even know why I worry about putting it up here because I start talking about stuff and I lose. Focus on the chat. How do I 
slide drawer toolbox is what I store them in. I cleaned it out and uh, put like a layer of that uh, kind of plastic uh, rubberized grippy stuff on the bottom of it. And that, that's what I keep them in. And I kind of try to separate them by drawers. You know, so like one drawer is just spider coes and uh, uh, another drawer is uh, USA made knives. And another drawer is like old timers and stuff like that. So let me go down here. Mr. Eddie, I don't know, I have Instagram, but he yeah, has some great knives. Yeah, Mr. Eddie does have some very cool knives. So is that good, uh, loser, for a spine whack there? Oh, Lenny, she's got the girls at uh, swim school. Okay, I got you, man. Yeah, I mean, it's Saturday morning. Everybody's been working all week, and you got, you know, stuff to do with the kids, uh, obligations, family stuff, you know, all that. I understand that, definitely. I was, uh, I was actually surprised the turnout was so good for my first live stream, really, you know. Mr. Eddie, let me get that one on the bottom left. The Devo Knives Pony Stout, the S90V Pony Stout. I love this little thing, man. I am usually like, I usually like knives that are about 15 to 20% bigger than this, right? Not huge, but uh, this is, I think, right at three inches or so. Let me make sure of that. I think it's right at about three inches. No, it's less than that. So the blade itself is two and seven eighths on the blade. So cutting edge right about two and a half or so. Smaller knife for me, definitely, because I would prefer something around the size of like the shaman or the stitch, you know. But um, I've carried the crap out of this thing. I don't know if it's, you know, the ergonomics. This thing's really super comfortable. This titanium feels really great. It's simple but it feels awesome. It's hard to describe. It's real smoothed over, contoured, you know, um, and I love the blade shape. It's a real utilitarian, I guess, would be a word kind of blade shape, you know. You can, you can put, you can comfortably put your hand on it, you know, pull your thumb right there in a little groove, you know. Um, and also another little thing I like about this knife is it's kind of cool. Let me see. Let's see if I can turn it around. I might have to get the flashlight out. I think I mentioned this on my first live stream, actually. But if you look in, if you look in there, it's it's got the Devo Knives logo on the bottom handle right there, the one that's against the pocket clip, and that is it. So there's a, there's no billboarding on this thing. There's no label at all on this thing. You know, if you didn't know Devo knives, then um, just looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell, you know, who made it or anything. And I I think that's awesome. You know, a little bit of billboarding, uh, logo, whatever, steel and stuff doesn't really bother me. But the fact that there's nothing on there, I think that's really cool. I think a lot of other companies are looking to start doing that. So I don't believe in spine smashing, but a knife should hold up to a minor tap. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat, uh, boot, you know, I, the whole uh, spine whack thing, you know, I get it. And I want if I'm getting a, a knife, that has got a lock on it. I want it to lock up, you know, because I mean, otherwise, then I'll get a fixed blade that's 100 percent lock up guaranteed or I'll get a slip joint, you know. So if I got a, a lock and knife, yeah, I want it to lock. But I mean, there's kind of like levels, you know, for me of, you know, what you're going to use it for, you know, are you going to, are you going to be using a log to beat it into another log to split wood? Um, you know, is that possible for you to be using that for your, your fold knife for that? You know, and if so, I would say I would recommend, you know, number one, an ax or number two, a fixed blade. You know, wedges, fixed blade, hammers, stuff like that. But if you've got to use a fold knife for something, you know, more of a prying task, you know, that's not slicing or something, I would say, yeah, like a cold steel triad lock or something like that, you know. 
So there's kind of different levels for it to me. It's not really like, you know, simple, a simple issue to me. I'll catch up with the chat here. Let me get that one on the bottom left. I guess just got here. So I got to go. All right, Jimmy Crow, if you're not going already, buddy, have a good weekend. Let's see. 3.5 plus for me. Love me some large knives. I'm with you, uh, Lenny. Has Spider Code Resilience S35 VN today. That's awesome. Very rarely do whittling big knives for me. Boot Doozle. TKE is at the neutron with tie scales, second from the bottom left. Man, this is um, Three Rivers was gracious enough. First company ever, y'all, and I'm over the moon excited about this. I did the unbox and put it out yesterday, but this is uh, this is G10 actually, slate gray uh, G10 Neutron Two. Uh, TRM gave me this, and you know they gave it to me with a with a package with uh, stickers, a glass, uh, notebook, pen. Um, a pouch all kinds of stuff to give away but this is the first knife that for this channel you know that that uh a company actually sent and i'm man i love this little thing i think it's awesome you know for trm to do it they're a great company american-made company um and their sales team their support and sales team are really awesome you know they're really they, they get back with you they talk to you um, they communicate with you. Whereas, uh, for example, there's, you know, there's a couple of other companies that I reach out to a, a few of them. Actually, I didn't even hear back from them, you know, but, uh, TRM said, yeah, we'll get you a package together. Give us your shipping address, but you're gonna have to give us a little bit of time, you know? So it's like a month and a half or something and enough, enough time passed by where I actually kind of forgot about it, you know? Um, and then they emailed me and gave me a tracking number last week and said, yeah, it's on the way. And then I got it. Uh, I got it Thursday. I, th I think it was Thursday when I got home from work. I got it. So, yeah, I, th I thought that was really cool of them. Benchmade. Uh, Benchmade, when I, when I asked them for, uh, you know, if they had any review samples, you know, I, I, I got a whole email together that I kind of send every knife company that i send an email to like hey i'm a newer you know youtube content creator um would love to try your product out if uh there's any way you could you know let me have some review samples some knives to give away um you know nice i can send them back whatever you know um and benchmate actually sent me back a link to their shop it was like hey you know no we're not doing that with anyone right now here's where you can go buy our knives at which i i know they send people knives i know you know they send you know like metal complex or knees or whoever bigger channels like that you know i'm sure bench made i've seen bench made send them you know larger content creators knives so um i thought it was kind of shitty that they you know would send me back a, a link to their shop you know, here you can go buy them if you want to try them. Also, kind of funny. All right, catching up with the chat. Let's see. Let me go back up. As a spider resilient. All right. Yeah, that is a beast of a knife. Uh, be fair. But that is the Devo Nas Pony Stout uh, loser. Fook does all my situation would have to be ridiculously dire for me to consider batoning with a fold knife. Yeah, I agree with that. Mirror Salt, hey, night and everybody. What's up, Mirror Salt? Mr. Eddie, I don't own any uh, cold steel knives. Meredith. You want to laugh at me? I literally washed my pulsar in the laundry. Forgot it was in my pocket. Yeah, it must be a pretty light carry then. Uh, and T, Ant, if I can't use my fold knife as an axe or pry bar, you're going to hear about it. It's funny. 
Lenny, I'm on the part with my TRM Shadow, if anyone's looking. The abundance of knife offerings out there, why accept a knife that can survive a decent spine white test when you can select many that can. Let me get that TRM, says Mr. Eddie. I wonder if TRM has a dealer in Canada, says Reaper. What's up, Tactical Terry? I didn't know you were in here, man. Hope you're having a good day, good weekend. Cornbread can't say enough good about you, brother. A tactical Terry seems like a pretty cool dude. How is the thickness on the TRM, Brody? Um, it's pretty thin, man. Like it's let's see. I think my video went out. Did it go out? Did the video go out, y'all? That Paul just went to level 9,000, the robo. What's up, splitting slices? <laughs> just in Ohio loading. Yeah, man, I got to do something. Uh, the next live stream, I might take this whole, like, the face view off air because i didn't really have this problem as much in the first live stream so on the next one you might kind of just be looking at you know the desktop view um i'm not gonna go you know spend a whole bunch of money on a new laptop i'm not gonna buy extenders and all that shit. just like i, I can't afford that right now so the thing that i'm doing right now is i'm using this phone is kind of like a uh Kind of using the phone as an extender, I guess. It's a hotspot. So I'm using the phone as a hotspot, but it's running off the of Wi Fi, which is fine, but I can't see the chat. So that's the issue I'm having right now. Now I can go off of StreamYard's chat, which I'll probably just start doing that. And I move the phone like kind of over there, which is more in the clear, not against the wall, wall away from, uh, away from the, the wall. So it gets a more clear signal. Let's see if that works. Splitting slices. All right. Uh, loser says, TK, hope you signed up to get one of those Vosteed Ink Lows. I watched Nick from Stasa 23 beat the hell out of that thing, and it's a beast. I'll have to check that out. I, I, I love Stasa. He does some pretty good stuff. Um, I definitely had to check that one out. That's the Ink Low. I guess that's how you say it. You're good, man. There are channels I like. I don't need, I don't need the 4K and multiple angles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I figured I would try it. This is, uh, I think this is 1080p. You know, pretty neat with the little, uh, like the the ticker that's kind of like at the bottom of the screen. You know, um, I like Streamyard. I like the the way it's set up, and I really do like the multiple angle thing. You know. Um, that way you guys can kind of see the expression on my face as I chat with you, you know, and it's kind of interactive. And plus I can show you the stuff on the desktop too, but it's kind of, you know, defeats the purpose of it. If, uh, if it cuts out and it's super glitchy, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's the way I feel about it anyway. All right. So I'm going to catch up with the chat. My journey, Meredith, loser. I'm just going to go off the StreamYard chat here. Router store data package unplugged for like five minutes at some point before you go live and plug it back in. It'll make your signal stronger. That's a, that's a good idea, uh, Kaleidoscope. Yeah, so the router is like kind of in the center of the house and I'm out in the garage. So I'm like maybe a brick wall. Um, 
I like a brick wall, another brick wall, and a plywood wall away from the router, you know, plus about, I don't know, about 40 feet thrown in with that, you know, all together. So the router is going to go through a lot to get out here is what I'm getting at. If I operate off of the Wi-Fi, that's why I'm kind of using the hot spot on the phone. Splitting slices, new channels, most companies make sure a channel plans on both sticking around and is growing before offering support. Otherwise, it'd be hassled by beggars. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I totally get that, you know. And uh, I don't fault. I mean, even for not, you know, even if a company doesn't email me back, you know, I really don't blame them. You know, I just thought it was kind of mostly. I thought it was funny, you know, that Benchmade would send me back a uh, link to their shop, you know, after asking for. Uh, for review samples, I, I kind of found that pretty funny. Robo Stevio, hey, what's up, Kaleidoscope, Dustin, Ohio, saw y'all with Aries posted on Instagram, damn near pooped head, trying to check and see if it was a books post. What's up, JD? How's it going, buddy? Hope you're having a good day, man. Um, I've been loving your steel test uh, videos, JD. You've been doing good on them, man. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of those. Book Doozle, TK, if you wear a tinfoil hat while you stream the same, I'll, I'll definitely I'll have to try that next week, loser. Tinfoil hat. <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider was but an update on this current stuff. Everybody's just saying, hey to everybody, Barbarian Brawny, the man, the myth, the legend. Barbarian Brawny's got some badass pictures on Instagram. Like, this dude takes some of the best, uh, some of the best pictures, I think, hands down, of knives. You know, I look at them and I'm like, man, I, I could frame that shit and hang it up. You know, Barbarian Bronny does a great job with that, I think. Uh, let's see here. JD, yeah, I was just talking about the setup. Uh, the setup's not bad. I like I like the, the kind of half and half, you know, the desktop and everything, but the... Uh, I think the the Wi-Fi speed, the internet speed, needs to improve. Yeah, you know, um, there's a couple of different things I was thinking about doing. Maybe getting an extender or something like that. Um, laptop, it's got an i i5 processor in it. You know, so it's not like an i3. It's not like a um, it's not like a super duper out of date. You know, it is an older laptop. It's a few years old, you know, and I know in technology years, that's like 100, you know, 20 years or whatever, you know, but um, I don't know. It's probably maybe four or five years old or so, but it, it's a great laptop, um, and I really appreciate my girlfriend letting me borrow it. Uh, she actually let me borrow this so I can, you know, do the, the whole multiple camera thing, um, but I think it's more of an issue with the, uh, with the Wi-Fi. It seems like anyway. TK, cover your body in aluminum foil and the signal will be stronger. That's a good idea, loser. I'll have to try that. If I cover my whole body in aluminum foil uh, as tall and fat as I am, I think that would probably be, you know, a couple hundred bucks worth of aluminum foil. If you own your house, I recommend it. Cat six to the garage with a router set up as an access point only. That's a good idea, Brody. JD, they will have some really sweet sales in November if you're really looking. Yeah, yeah, they always do. Uh, October, and November is, of course, uh, the best time to uh, to buy stuff. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Man, I saw last year uh, uh, paramilitary too. The S ninety V one, I think, if I remember right, it was one hundred and twenty five for it was either Cyber Monday or Black Friday, and that's that's crazy, you know, to me. They they know when they go when they I think I'd have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure the teal handled S ninety V paramilitary twos are cheaper whenever they do come up than the S forty five VN ones or the S thirty you know V. Um, which is crazy to me. 
your regular router is controlling the tip address or the IP address and you're not running into a subnetting issue. Brody, you sound like uh, really awesome at uh, networking and uh, really knowledgeable, <laughs> a lot more so than I am. So I appreciate all the advice. Paul showed up early again. Don't have to worry about any surprises, visits later. <laughs> Dudes will never let people know you understand technology. You'll be forever fixing everything for everyone you know. I know, right? That is very true. Poop. Cole got a nice laptop last October and took it to Blade Show, Texas. Said he really liked it. Talking about uh, Tri State, JD. Oh, StreamYard's not that far behind. That's cool. I just glanced over at my phone. And I've got the live pulled up on my phone, and I'm looking at the StreamYard chat. So it's not too far behind, it looks like. That's good. Natty Potts for an amazing invention. Palmer Conley. What's up, Palmer Conley? How's it going, buddy? Robo. I don't know if I said 80 or not, Robo. Robo Stevio. Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Mark Parks. What's up, man? Let me, uh, let's see, use this fancy, fancy stream yard thing that I got going on here. Look at this, y'all. You ready for it? Here it comes. Bam. Modern technology. Look at that. It's like space age stuff for me. Pocket check. I was amazed at PowerPoints as a kid, so what can I say? I know my mother-in-law is a grim reaper of electronics and can be broken. She will find its weakness. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, dogs have finished violating my yard. Got to go back to recording for a bit. <laughs> All right, JD. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, really appreciate it. It was good, good hanging out with you for a little bit, man. Robo, Morning Edge, Ninja, what's up? <laughs> All right, what's everybody carrying today, y'all? Oh, I got uh, I got these new knives all in a big ass box from Mr. Eddie, which uh, I think he labeled the box a uh, box of sex toys. So that that was cool. I was wondering why on the ring camera the the the, uh, uh, the postman had latex gloves on. <laughs> Wonderful person there. I don't know which one I'm going to carry today, man. I got a bunch of new knives, so I'm pretty excited. I don't know which one I'm going to try out first. I've been wanting this Spidey Chef forever. I'm super happy to have that. I collect Spydercos. Um, this is one of the new ones I got, LC200N Spidey Chef. So I'm pretty excited about that. Probably be carrying that today, I would imagine. Get the camera to focus back down here. I like Tri-State's, uh, the way he's got his set up with the camera and everything. He's got all kinds of awesome equipment, though. Robo CV. Book Dizzle. Let me go back up so I don't miss anybody's pocket check here. We evoke bronze version. That sounds pretty cool, Lenny. Paul Mills has got an Evo 3.0 and a Benchmade bug out. That's awesome, man. I've always wanted to try that Evo uh, 3.0. Very, very expensive. Very nice looking. Uh, very well fit finished knife from everything I've seen. Blurple Frag Rock Wall for Kaleidoscope of Knives along with an Evolve EDC Best Tech Sin. That's cool. And uh, Matsy Striga. I really wanted to get that uh, sin that Junior Miz had for sale last week. bucks for uh, for a knife that I believe retails around 280 or 300 or so. You know, it was a hell of a deal. Really wish I could have got that one, but. Um, 
Kumu Pulsar for uh, Steve Fleischer. Devo Buzz, M390 Bug Out, and uh, Ferrum Forge, Ty Stinger Button Lock for Palmer. That's cool. Blurple, Frag, Rockwell, 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 Rockwell
them before, but these up. Uh, I was doing this earlier, but uh, the Wi-Fi or whatever happened and spaced out. Eighty-eight thousandths. That's the thickest part of the spine on the um, on the neutron too. I forgot who was even asking, but uh, that's the thickness of that one. So it's a pretty thin blade, I would say. Not anthrax, food goozle. Yeah, that's a good one. Not anthrax. This side up, live puppies. <laughs> food goozle. No <laughs> on a police raid, so you should ignore my suggestions. Yeah, no, I need stuff that's uh, that's shippable. You know, like I want to push the envelope, but not rip the envelope. You know what I'm saying? I want him to get the package definitely, because he's got some really good knives. They let me borrow. They're in there, and uh, I don't want that impeded by uh, me being funny but also you know a little levity would uh would be cool taking back i like until you give me free stuff <laughs> this is robo how about the capara roadie let me i'll do the capara let's see the, yeah the capara is it i mean i always thought that Kapar was a thin one too. I haven't done a spine thickness on it in a while. See, it's a hundred and eleven thousandths. Hundred and hundred and nine ish thickest part of the spine. Hundred and sixteen thousandths on the Kapara. So uh so the Kapara is Kapara is not really that thin, but it is it's a super slicey knife. Gently use speedos, use butt plugs. I might go with that. That's a good one, Poot Doozle. Call me Sailor. There's a joke, Mr. Eddie. Yeah, I could I could say that, right? I could call you Sailor because you're in the uh, the Coast Guard, right? All right, partially used Q-tips. You get to guess which side was used. <laughs> yes, sir, Rody. No problem, man. Let me see if I can change the music here. You guys are hanging out with me for a while, so I appreciate it. I'm going to do the best I can to uh, uh, make you guys enjoy the experience, as it were, whether you're watching on a phone, computer, TV. God, I feel sorry for you if you're watching me on a TV. I'm really I'm not built for TV. All right, here's a bunch of StreamYard choices here. Uh, background music acoustic cinematic let's try that i don't even know what it oh, it plays it for me so do you guys hear that can y'all hear the uh acoustic cinematic as they call it what's that like Pantera. I wish I could play some Pantera. I mean, I guess I could. I'm not even monetized yet. I don't know how that works. I'd probably get a copyright strike. They sent me a, uh, Mr. Hey, I'm in the bathroom, so something soothing. Uh, elevator music. This is definitely soothing. <laughs> yeah, it comes through. I uh, no, I don't have to worry about this being copyright stricken, so, uh, I think this is pretty safe i'm not even monetized i got a copyright uh i don't know what to even call it on one of my videos one of the sharpening videos i did like a little uh i did like a little time lapse and i used the uh what i use for it i think i used cap cut for that and i was under the impression using cap cut that uh everything was cool with whatever you know so it was it kind of i don't know if it was or not but it kind of sounded like the home depot music you know that basic drums and you know that kind of home, like the home depot commercial music and uh i got a copyright warning off of that but in in the copyright message it, it was weird it said this is not a copyright strike the owner lets you use this for Let's uh, this music be used pretty much for free. So I don't even know why they bothered to say that. 
All right, yeah, let's see. Let me, let me change the music. Here's one called Feeding the Ducks. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. How's that? You guys enjoying uh, Feeding the Ducks? There's there's a bunch more on here. I can, I can go through them if y'all want. Not a problem at all. It's, uh, it's your guys' experience. I'm just the one providing it. So I'd, I'd like to uh, like for everybody to enjoy it. So y'all keep coming back. Robo Studios. <laughs> this is not folk. <laughs> the music is just a little too loud. I want to shout over it. Is that better? I turned it down a little bit. Lenny Bianchi, you need a freestyle. You don't want a freestyle from me. That music made me want to shave my head, become. <laughs> it's funny. It's Sebuk. I want you to know music. Zara sees all. <laughs> Am I planning on getting a T6000? Uh, probably, I don't know, I'd have to handle it first. If I knew somebody that had a T6000, uh, Mr. Eddie, I would really appreciate them uh, sending it to me to try out. You know, after that person got their other uh, knives back, their other butt plugs back, maybe they could Look into doing that. Ed Durbin, what the hell's going on in here? <laughs> What's up, Ed? Trying out some different music, man. <laughs> I would have never spelled Harry Christmas right. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Or, I mean, hey, Ed Durbin. <laughs> Let's see what else I got as far as music here. <clears throat> Tyler Williams, I, I think I said 80. I don't know. What's up, anyway? Uh, Tyler Williams, how's it going, buddy? Third floor coming up. Lingerie, fishing gear, mayonnaise. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here's one uh, into space. This is called into space. These are all streamyard uh, background music songs. Definitely not something I would get in the truck and, and jam out to on my way to work. Or maybe I don't know. Mimo, what? What's up, man? How's it going, Mimo? <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to try to make a couple other people moderators while I'm thinking about it. I meant to do that last time. Alright, so... There's a couple other people as moderators now, or one. Fook, right? I think Fook should have a wrench. Cole, love of my life, girlfriend. Put her as a moderator. Better watch your mouth or I'll take her wrench away. She knows what's good for me. Won't be sass of me. Sorry, honey, don't kill me. Uh, let's see, who else, who else? Mr. Eddie. Live crawfish, I just saw that. It's pretty funny. Shower was calling. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the music down some more. Just a second, uh, Angelo. I didn't know it's still loud, man. My bad.
can't make people moderators on the stream yard, so I'm just going on my phone and doing it real quick. All right, Rody says, I feel like I need to get my Super Mario Bros. outfit on and slay some mushrooms, say some princesses, drill up some reptiles. <laughs> That's funny. We want to hear Slim Whitten. <laughs> I don't want to, uh, Poop Doozle says he won't, I won't let you ban yourself. I don't want to get a copyright violation. I would love to play, I would totally DJ alive. Like, I love, uh, I love playing music for people. Ask, uh, ask Cole shit, she knows. I'm annoying with, uh, with that. But, uh, so I don't want to. Don't want this to be removed. Don't want to get a copyright strike or mess with YouTube's uh, rules and commandments, as it were. All right, here's Lo-Fi. I don't really like Lo-Fi that much. This says night driving. Let's see what night driving's all about. Now I want a BLT. <laughs> Let's all ban each other. People ask about Mayo. I say if you're fishing with lingerie on mayonnaise, it's going to be involved sooner or later. Might as well keep it all on the same floor. That's true, Ed Durbin. Those are all things that definitely go together. I want to try a boudin or whatever Louisiana calls it. Boudin? <laughs> it's a rice and sausage and a casing. Not bad. Robo Stevio, I'm the type of dude that says, check this song out, then I get bored with it two minutes before it's over and change it. Yeah, it's very tr true. That's very true. My play, a lot of my playlists uh, are like Johnny Cash and then uh, Metallica, the Black Album, Metallica, Ride the Lightning, and then some Zach Bryan, and then a little Wayne. So it's all over the place, really. Budan is amazing, says Robo Stevio. What's up? Good morning, Jim Miller. Good morning, Sunshine. How you doing? Angelo. Pepping horse. Night driving. More like stuff that will make you fall asleep while driving. Heavy metal is night driving music. Yeah, that's true. Says those for the shop for the shorts. Yeah, you can get away with putting them in shorts. Eddie, because uh, if you are monetized with the uh, with the artist music and shorts, you're pretty much getting the leftovers of the ad revenue off of them. So YouTube takes ad revenue, then they give the artists ad revenue, and then they give you whatever your little cut that's left over. So that's the deal with the being able to use uh, Metallica and stuff in the shorts. Night driving. Let's see. This one's called Rock. I wonder how hard their rock is. I'm sure it's not like Slayer. Let's see what they got going on. I can't even hear it. There's no Metallica beyond the Black Album fight me. Fly Skip and Knives. Yeah, Tyler Williams got a pretty good channel definitely go check him out jim miller lou ross nice arm combo <laughs> keyboard rock loser place he says play something you can uh freestyle rap to no i have really a lot of options on Streamyard. uh i think i've played all of them almost I don't have a channel or videos yet, but I have two followers. That's awesome, Lenny. With your collection, you'll surpass me real quick whenever you uh, start, I'm sure. <laughs> Mr. A says, what's metal Metallica? Okay. All right, Mr. Eddie. Funny guy. Funny guy there. It was, but it's still amazing. T-Patch on my phone. Sucks for tagging. Uh, music died with Cliff. Yeah, a lot. That's, that's pretty arguable. I like a lot of their, I mean, I'm I'm kind of a weirdo with Metallica. I like a lot of their new stuff, too. I don't like all their uh, new stuff. 
you know, there, there's, believe it or not, some of their stuff I don't even like that much. But uh, I think I like a lot more of their stuff than a lot of people do. It's hard for me to pick a favorite uh, Robo, but uh, Justice for All was definitely a great one. One of my favorites. Who won the Metallica competition between the Knight's Edge and uh, Carrion Cut? I don't know. I don't think it's over with. I think it's still ongoing. We've both been doing kind of like a short every day with uh, a Metallica song in it. I guess we'll see who runs out, out first. It's not going to be me because I've got everything they've ever played. And I know every uh, every cover they've ever played and every uh, kind of unpopular thing they've ever played. So I definitely can find some Metallica stuff, no problem. Well, then, Beyonce, you gotta, I need to go get a new storage case out, grew mine. I need to go get a new storage case out, grew mine, my 39s. Wow. Metallica's new super steel that I've been growing tuna, tuna fire using. It's supposed to be the best steel around. Yeah, that's, that's funny, Ed Durbin. What I don't, what I don't get is why studio slash music system set up in YouTube allows the use of copyright music only to then block slash yellow card one for using it. I don't know what's up with that splitting slices. That's weird. What's up, Karen Cut? Good morning, dude. How's it going? We're just talking about the little uh, kind of back and forth we've been doing on the Metallica on the shorts there. Y'all go check Karen Cut out, man. He's got a great channel, uh, some really cool knives and good content on there. And uh, also, I think last night he got a big shout out from Metal Complex. Uh, got a bunch of people. Uh, I don't know how, how many. How many did you get off of that uh, Karen Cut? I know you got a few uh, subscribers at least. Um, but that always helps, you know, Metal Complex with his huge megaphone of a platform, you know, shouting the channel out always helps. He, he uh, gave me a shout out, man, like a month, month and a half ago or something. That's before I did a live stream. So that had to have been about a month ago, maybe more than that. And um, he, I, I think I got 114 subscribers that night because in my normal subscriber amount that I get on a daily basis is somewhere around anywhere from two to, uh, you know, nine or 10 or so maybe. But uh, with a metal complex shout out, that definitely helped, you know, YouTube algorithm and uh, analytics was like, what the fuck? When they saw me shoot up to, you know, I got five one day, two the next day, I think four the day after that, and then 114. And then the day after that, back down to eight, you know, so I'm sure they were like, uh, man, what the hell happened here? Mr. Eddie, I'll get the link for you. Give me a sec. I'm going to make Carrie and cut a moderator too while I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Carry and cut, add to the moderator. Two fifty for the TRM. All right, carry and cuts wrench, uh, loser. Thinking that's when I subbed. Yeah, maybe so, Desi. Um, definitely got a lot of uh, the awareness was was raised for the channel for sure. So. Really appreciate that from Metal Complex. Uh, been trying to, I've been trying to put at least a video and a short out every day. That's been pretty much my goal um, for the channel recently. You know, I find if I can put a video and a short out every day, and I usually just record my. I try what I've been trying to do is record all my videos twice a week, so my phone memory won't hold. Um, and I know I can upgrade that, but, uh, what I got right now, my phone memory won't hold enough for a whole week. So I will, uh, record twice a week and that's been, uh, kind of keeping that rhythm is, is helpful. You know, also I don't have to try to record every evening 
you know, to where it interferes with, with me trying to do stuff, you know, family time, you know, I work over every now and then on my job and, uh, you know, some, some days you, you don't really, you know, you just feel like you don't feel like doing it, even though I enjoy it, you know, a lot. That little automatic is good for fighting gangs of Oompa Loompas. <laughs> What's up, Knife Wife? Lenny Bianchi and uh, Knife Wife are like the ultimate uh, EDC power couple there. They both got a pretty good collection. That's a cool little thing that uh, was in the box. Of, uh, another bonus that was in the box of knives from Mr. Eddie. Wallet Ninja, I thought this thing was pretty neat. Got like a box opener. Um, you know, it's kind of like one of those little multi tool things. So, bottle opener, all kinds of stuff on it. Pretty cool little deal. Now we won't be able to see it for 10 minutes. Oh, there we go. Back focus. Loser said TK is the only person that can cut himself with a trainer. That's true. What are you guys? Let me see. Let me. Uh, I got, I don't know, maybe uh, about 15 minutes. 15, 20 more minutes left before I'm going to go off because I got a mail package and also I don't want to cut into, uh, you know, I'm probably already cutting into somebody that's doing a live stream, but I'm trying not to. I know G Ball starts up here in a little bit, but uh, mainly I need to make it to the post office before noon, my time. Which the post office is right down the street, so um, anyway, trying to go just maybe like another 15, 20 minutes or so. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to find. <laughs> there we go. New arrivals, upcoming drops. What are you guys excited about that's coming out? If you, if any of you want a few tips for better knife picks, Ed Durbin did a live that goes over. Yeah, Ed Durbin's got some cool stuff too. Mr. Eddie, yeah, I will definitely make it to the post office, Mr. Eddie. You don't worry yourself about that. New Rosecrafts. I got new Rosecrafts coming out. Jim Miller, is that the one that uh, Big Red was uh, showing the other day? Big Red shows a good little bit of the rose craft stuff. I better not cl click that and four second clip of him telling me to buy knives, <laughs> buy better knives. My new to me OTF, Mr. Eddie. Is that the predator that I'm sending back to you? What's up, G Ball? G Ball Vision in the house. Got a, uh, yeah, we got carrying cut. G Ball Vision, some major, major leaguers here, here hopping in. That's cool. I like to see MPG make a video with her cutting various. Let me go back up. I didn't catch that one. I like to see MPG make a video of her cutting various pastries with her donut sprinkles knife. lies and already cutting it short lazy bum <laughs> kaleidoscope well i'm trying to uh trying to get eddie's package out and uh also trying to uh try not to cut into other people like g ball you know g ball with his uh billion subscribers he's got going on i don't want to you know i know i'm big time competition for him and everything but i don't want to cut into his time I mainly don't want to make you guys have to choose between which live stream, you know. What's up, guys? Still waiting for my Winter Blades Severn to get made and shipped. But yeah, I, that's one thing I don't, you know, the availability is one thing, but having to wait like a whole year for a knife or nine months, six months, whatever it is, that's one turn off for me with the Winter Blade. And I really, really want a factor really bad. You know, but I'll probably end up getting one. The factory is super cool, super cool knife.
Uh, let's see who else is in here. Guns. What's up, budget guy? Knife wife. Unrelated. Bring your own cup. Uh, we got racing here. I'm in New Orleans. Um, there's not really any 7 Elevens around in this area, kind of. Mr. Eddie sent me a picture of the tactile knife you got coming. That's nice. What is that one, uh, Mr. Eddie? Oh, very cool looking. Oh, that's the uh, that's the one you were telling me about the other day, isn't it? That's a nice looking knife. Yeah, it is regional. <laughs> I almost got the Severn 2 uh, ready on the pre-order, but I, I, didn't do, I think I was actually broker at the time. Can somebody put uh, guns in? Okay, there you go. Angelo's got it. Uh, did anybody put a link to G-Ball up if you haven't already? I'm sure everybody in here probably has already subscribed to G-Ball, you know, but uh, definitely somebody throw up a link for G-Ball there. For sure, he's got a lot of awesome content. I love his list videos. He, he does some really cool stuff. And a huge collection. Great dude, too. Bit, bit, a bit. I was here lurking, listening, saying nothing. <laughs> Ed Durbin, let me know when you decide to do another. Okay. With all these knife companies showering him with products. He's got a visit. The USPS and Pez government. <laughs> I do have to do my, my taxes this weekend. I kind of like to wait till the last minute, you know, like midnight on the 15th is usually when I do my taxes. TKEs in New Orleans. Let's see if it shows us a boot. I don't know, loser. Uh, I don't know if you got the right beads for that. Robo Stevio. What's up, Byron Kennedy? I know he's in here, man. All right, Ed. See you later, buddy. There you go. There's G Ball. Thanks, Angelo. Appreciate it, man. Y'all go subscribe to G Ball's channel if you're not already. I'm almost positive that everybody in here is on G Ball's channel already. He's got a lot of cool stuff. I'm excited about uh, the Chupacabra. You guys seen that? The tactile knives, Chupacabra. It's got the Snex lock. <clears throat> Super lock, I think. The same one as same one as the Vision FG. But it's a tactile knife. So I thought that was that that should be pretty neat, you know, looking at it. But uh this is the Vision FG with the Snex Super Lock. So I thought a tactile with that lock on it should be pretty cool. Kathleen Smith. What's up, Kathleen Smith? How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, MC can push the numbers for sure. You're right about that. Great guy there, too. Chupacabra looks sick, but pricey, yeah. Oh, it's $250, boot, which I mean, I didn't think that was, you know, for tactile. Uh, with uh with a new locking system and the material oh if my internet was better and it'll quit being like super good uh, 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 i would uh do this share my screen thing and show y'all the uh I would, yeah, yeah, so hopefully on the next one I'll have this problem fixed. Yeah, I imagine so, man. G-Ball's got, uh, he's, he's, he's going live here. What time you go live, G-Ball? Pretty soon, huh? A lot of stuff to get rid of. Tri-State smells like cat pee. <laughs> yeah, it does. He loves those uh, cat pee handles. <laughs> All 
probably like crawl dead on your line. This ready. Try turning. All right. Demko could probably enforce a patent infringement on both Tech Call and Kaiser, as we saw with the spider cone bench made. It's not the mechanism, it's the act. Yeah. I, I, with Spyderco and Benchmade with that uh, Spidey whole thing, I thought that was kind of funny. Is it getting better? Is it starting to get better? I turned off the uh, I turned off the YouTube so it's acting as the hot spot. So I thought maybe if I turned off the stream on that and cut all the activity that's going on my phone that uh that it would help so hopefully it's helping yeah the gold pyrite the one that dan kinman had uh kinman dan kinman i thought that was pretty neat uh, i've got one on the way right now as a matter of fact or not right now i think it's shipped on april 15th Knife Newt. Who's this D-Ball character? Does he or she it have trouble with prepositions like knives? <laughs> yeah, it seems to like knives. Uh, slices. What's the knife at the bottom right? Knife at the bottom right. Let me get rid of this pocket or this uh, little headline here. I just had that up because I was trying to remember to. Uh, to tell you guys about the chupacabra if you haven't seen it yet. Thought that would be a pretty cool looking knife. Bottom right, that is, uh, this is an older one. It's actually an assisted knife. This is a Kershaw Boiler Maker. Uh, like a maybe $40, $45 knife. I think it's D2 if I remember right. But uh, it's got definitely got some wear and tear on it for sure. George Design patented. Kai USA, um, this is uh, actually where that mark out is. It said China right there. And this is the one that I got before I got really into pocket knives. I hated that it said China there. So I kind of just uh, put like a dremel to it, scratched it out, you know, but it ended up being uh, an eyesore. <laughs> kind of wish I wouldn't have done it now, but uh, yeah, it's done. So. Yeah, but this is a Chinese-made Kershaw, older one. It, it is uh, assisted. Pretty snappy little knife. I like the blade shape on it. It's got an interesting blade shape. Pretty ornate looking knife, but it's called the Boiler Maker. And one of the main reasons I got it, to be honest, is uh, that's like kind of like my job title was uh, what I do as eleven. I'm a supervisor now, but uh, um. Boiler maker, you know, by trade. So I thought that was pretty neat. I go back to the chat. Back to the chat. Let's see. Why'd you uh, I might have to go back up and catch up. Patent court determined it was the action, not the mechanism. Sorry. The whole thing was also interesting. Forgot about that. Knife nuts. Oh man, you got one out for delivery? That's awesome, dude. Spook, you leaving? Have a good weekend, if so, buddy. I use UPS to send it. That's good. I think it requires signature, huh? Uh, knife nuts. That's a good thing. It's not good if, uh, if no one's home, because then you gotta go pick it up from them. And if uh, your work hours are like mine, which I know everybody does all kinds of the different hours as far as work goes in here, uh, 
but I'll, I tend to work most of the time during the time that like banks, UPS, you know, doctor's offices, stuff like that are open. So I had to schedule off or do it on one of my every other Fridays off. If I had to go pick a package up or something like that, which I haven't had to do that in a long time. I'm trying to catch up with the chat guys, I'm sorry. Knife nuts, my day off, so that's good. Yeah, that is good. What's up, BNA, brand new American? How's it going, buddy? All right, Rody, I'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming, and uh, thanks for all the chat and all the info and stuff, man. I uh, hope to see you next Saturday morning. Trying to do this as uh, kind of like a regular thing, you know? Every every Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. Central Time is uh, what I'm shooting for, and I haven't missed yet. You know, I think this is the, this is the third one, I think. So it, it's a lot more fun than I thought. You know, it's cool to get to interact with people on the videos and stuff. Um, you know, you guys are, are really helpful with comments and suggestions and advice and, uh, uh, you know, uh, tell me I'm doing good, bad, whatever, you know, and I really appreciate that. The live stream helps a lot, too. You know, it, it's good to be able to interact with people. It kinda, it's kind of like the pulse of, uh, I guess you could say, of the knife community, right, as, as live streams. It's like writing somebody a letter versus talking to them on the phone, I guess. You're a natural at it, TK. Oh, thanks, Kaleidoscope. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about being a natural at it. I'm just trying not to make a total ass out of myself. Stephen Fletcher. What's up, Stephen Fletcher? I have accesses. I have packages dropped at UPS Access Point. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing to do. Jesse Moore, 511 Camp Knife, out for delivery today. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't even tried out some of these newer ones that I got from uh, in that trade that I made with Mr. Eddie. Uh, Spidey Chef was one of them. Sliver Axe is another one. I thought this was pretty cool. I've been wanting this one for a while. I do, you know, collect spider codes like most everybody on here knows, you know. Um, but that's a flipper, you know, spider code flipper. Been out for quite a while. But um, I thought that was pretty neat to have a, a flipper spider code. It's got the compression lock, just like the paramilitary too, and shaman and a bunch of other spider codes, which I absolutely love the compression lock. One issue I'm finding with this one is that flipper tab. You know, a lot of people will complain about the shaman and that little nub that's on the shaman coming back up and hitting the uh, flipper or the compression lock. You know, the nub kind of hitting your finger or whatever, which I don't find that to be a big issue with the shaman. But with this one, it, it kind of is a little bit because when you disengage it, when it swings back shut, I'm going to tell you when I feel the flipper. Right there. Right about there. So that that's where it's at with disengagement when I start feeling the uh, that flipper come back, right? So, and if you're quick about it, you know, if you get used to it, carrying it a little bit, you you know, you move your finger out the way before the flipper comes back. It's not a big deal at all, you know. I mean, I, I can manipulate it just fine. I'm just saying that is a that is a thing with that flipper tab being on a compression lock like that. Let me catch up with the chat here. Gons. Gons, you leaving, buddy? Are you left already? All right, Gons, have a good weekend, brother. Go to the grocery store, get some get some gushers. I need some I need to get some more gushers. Mr. Eddie mustache close ups. All right. Just killed the live stream. Everybody left. With that mustache close up. Keep them coming, nice. Good luck with the channel and have fun with it. When it becomes the only work, time to move on. I'm cutting out. All right, later, Slims. Slices. Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is fun. You know, for me, it's not. 
I don't really consider. I mean, it is a little bit of work, you know, setting it up and whatever. But you know, it's it's a fun to me. It's a fun hobby to have. You know, I like it. So yeah, whenever it becomes something that takes away from uh from important things, that's when I'll quit doing it. And I have to check myself a lot of times too. You know, um, I try not to to prioritize it too much over family and doing stuff with you know the kids and other stuff that I need to do. I got bad habit of doing that too. So it's definitely a, a ebb and flow kind of balance. You know, it's something that good to have in life, and that's with everything. Actual Terry has something showing up today. I have no idea what it is though. The animal gram is the same way. Knife wife having a good weekend. That's have a good weekend. You too, knife wife. Thanks for stopping by. He's just picking up cigarettes. <laughs> just dropping a like on my way through walking into work. Thanks, Brian Care. Appreciate it, man. They say that uh, those likes helps uh, helps with the algorithm, whatever. I'm not sure how a like. I'm, I guess I need to read up on that. But appreciate it. Good morning. How you doing, Dwayne Letterman? Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Tactical Terry sixty nine. Now you got me intrigued on what it'll be. <laughs> Max Ace Goliath. Mister Eddie says, "Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool one." Quick paper cut test for the stitch. Uh, let's see. Get some paper out. Some of this computer paper down here. Uh, get the camera to focus in the right way on it. When the last time I sharpened this thing was. It'll cut paper. I don't know if I've done one or not yet, but I'm going to do this little quick, uh, quick cut test shorts that I do. Um, loser. Yeah, see, it's kind of you can kind of see where it's starting to nick or where there's a nick in the blade steel, I guess. But yeah. Um, it'll cut paper, you know, fairly well. When I make this thing focus on the edge. I've sharpened this thing one time. Uh, this M390 MK is definitely held an edge really good. I, I sharpened it one time, used it a bunch after that, and then I sent it to Stella from uh, Stella's Knife Obsession. You know, she borrowed it for a little bit, a couple weeks, and then I got it back, and I used it a couple times since then. So it's definitely held an edge. You know, it's just still slices paper, but it's got a nick in there somewhere. There's a little uh, irregularity somewhere right there i think it's right in there actually but uh it, it'll definitely slice paper it'll slice rope you know whatever you need to cut with it, it it's a pretty good little knife I, I like to stitch a lot definitely am very happy that they uh make this thing focus back again definitely am happy that microtech chose to uh go with the ram lock you know as opposed to the automatic I think they also make the automatic too still, but I um, was pretty happy to see that they decided to put the stitch in a, in a ram lock. Oh, back Goliath. Need to catch back up with the chat. A 
let me go back up and see a quick cup. Okay, paper cut test, Mr. Eddie, don't let the name fool you. Good knife with a great sheep, but smaller the name implies. Yeah, I like the I like the Ram Lock, uh, loser. I think I'm caught back up. Mr. Eddie's got the auto and manual stitch. Of course he does. I think he's got pretty much everything. Which uh, is perfectly awesome for me. He's letting me borrow some uh, some pretty cool stuff to check out. All right. Let's see. Let me do one last thing. Weekend plans, what you got? What are you guys doing this weekend? I am trying to do a couple things around the house as far as uh, other than the, by the post before they close. And I am also going to kind of do a couple little repairs on the eve around the house and kind of work on that. Prep in the garden, says Lenny. It's a, I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are at. Um, I know everybody's from you know all over, which is really cool. I'm in New Orleans, and uh, right now the weather is almost perfect. You know, it's a little warm in the later afternoon. You know, up to about 81, 82 or so today. So it's not like steaming hot yet. You know, and all the, you know, everything's in bloom and full greenery and everything looks nice. So kind of like the April is kind of like one of the better times of year around here, in my opinion, anyway. Lenny, are you using the uh, Titano to prep the garden with? 52 degrees of Michigan. It's still cool there. That's cool. Drove 30 miles to this tiny shop. I was hesitant about. It had the most bench maids and other knives I've ever seen in the area. A hidden gem. Yeah, you can find those every now and then, YD knives. It's pretty cool whenever you find a store like that. It's, it's Michiganer. <laughs> Just made it back. I'll be modding some more knives and working on my fixed blades. Says Jimmy Crew. April showers here. Where you at, uh, brand new Americans? Raining there. Mark Park's getting a lot of rain too. Seattle's blooming. Gonna go get water. All right, water my garden. Okay, cool. That's cool, Jesse. I'd like to see a stream where you communicate through a hand puppet the whole time. Uh, I could do that, loser. Uh, I don't know. I had to wait till I get monetized, right? So I can afford some hand puppets. Oh, you're in central New, New York. Brand new American. That's pretty cool. Rainy up there. Indiana Knives. Indiana Knives is up the way. They have a lot in a small town. Mr. Eddie actually brought it to my attention. I believe it's Knifeworks. Um, I think it's Knifeworks. Kind of second guessing myself now. Um, a company that I bought a couple of folding knives off of, offline on it is uh, in Louisiana. I didn't know that. I thought that was pretty cool. Rained all week. Carolina's beautiful today. It's cool in Carolina. T6000 in my pocket. That's awesome, Mr. Eddie. Two straight, we just got two straight days of rain. Uh, uh, what's that, Maine you're in? Kaleidoscope? A week after six to nine inches of snow, bipolar weather, yeah. Central Pennsylvania rains a lot. Hey, I got ME right. Awesome. 
and totally butcher your state's uh, postal initial. So I'm happy about that. Kaleidoscope. Trying to catch back up. Eighty three here, but still below freezing some nights. Yeah, this is kind of a weird time of year, you know, it's a transition, you know, from uh, winter to summer. Thanks for donating at CRTK Squid for carrying cuts channel. Very nice. Yeah, I saw that. That was pretty neat, uh, Jimmy. Good job on the handle for sure. Hey, Lenny, I'm from um, Mus Muskegon, Muskegon, Mus Muskegon, Michigan. Where you at? All right, Mr. Eddie, see you later, man. I'm about to end it, too. I uh, got to get his package out here, Mr. Eddie's package. Moved here from the green, for the green car to get away from the heat, humidity of North Carolina. Nine minutes north of Grand Rapids. Okay. It's cool, tackle Terry. You veer in whichever direction you've got that pocketed. <laughs> Joseph S. Oh, you're in LA? That's cool, man. I always wanted to go to Los Angeles and see like the Hollywood sign in the hills, you know, and kind of all the, I guess, stereotypical tourist stuff, you know, for LA. Mr. Eddie's going for a hike. That's cool. Got the uh, got the Goliath going on the hike. hike with you. That's a good hike at night. Brand new American, he's old and forgets when he's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people from Michigan in here. Uh, Tadpole Terry, it looks like. Eddie's, uh, Eddie's in Louisiana, Mr. Eddie. And uh, other than that, I don't know very many other people around uh, in the area, like that are in the community. I know Stasa is, you know, but I don't. I don't really, you know, I've never talked to him other than, you know, saying hey and alive or something like that. And uh, I think Advanced Knife Bro is not too far away from me. I talked to him a little bit on Instagram, back and forth, but uh, not too much. T6000 for the height picks. We'll go to Instagram later. Yeah, y'all, if uh, y'all didn't see it earlier, definitely check out Mr. Eddie. Mr. Eddie underscore 411 on Instagram. He's got a lot of cool stuff. And uh, he's definitely helped my channel out a lot. Let me borrow some knives uh, for review. And he's traded me some of these, you know. So I got to pick one of these to carry today. I think I'm going to go with the... I think I'm going to go with the Spidey Chef today. And then I'm going to go with the Heretic tomorrow. I like the Heretic. All right, I think, yeah, it's 11, 12, right? Yeah, I got like maybe 45 minutes of the post office closes. So, Loser says, I like the, uh, the night's edge in Louisiana because with all the humidity, I can watch uncoated D2 steel rust in real time on this stream. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying, dude. Uh, yeah, it will, uh, uncoated D2 will definitely do that for sure. 15V is even worse. I, I love 15V as far as uh, edge retention. It is awesome. But uh, I carried it one time on a 16-hour shift at work. And I uh, was sweating hot and humid. I think it was like June or July or something. And when I got home, I put it on the dresser the next morning. It had two or three little rust spots on it already. And, man, that's crazy. So, yeah, 15V D2 also can definitely rust pretty quick down here in the in New Orleans with the humidity and heat and stuff we got going on. All right, y'all, I'm about to end it, I think. Um, 
trying to get to the post office. Oh, American Blade Works warning magnet cut. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, got that average humidity down here, six out of a hundred. <laughs> All right, appreciate everybody coming. Uh, Angelo, Dwayne Lerman, Tactical Terry, Mimo, Kaleidoscope, Loser, Mr. Eddie, Jimmy Crow, uh, D Ball. Y'all go head over to D Ball's next. He's doing a live stream. He usually goes for a couple hours at least on uh, Saturdays after me. And uh, got a really big uh, following, vast knife collection, and some really good videos. He does really good quality videos. Uh, D Ball does. So definitely check him out. He's about to be on live here shortly. Tactical Terry, uh, Brand New American, Dwayne Letterman, everybody in here in case I'm missing somebody, YD Knives, um, Jesse, Dwayne Letterman, Mark Parks, Lenny, if, uh, if you're still around. Appreciate everybody that came and uh, everybody for coming back every Saturday morning. I appreciate it. So we're going to try to do this, keep it going, and uh, try to get better and less glitchy, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully next week it's a little better, you know. So, anyway, thanks everybody, and I hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of the day. I'll see y'all on the next one.